when I walk on the street, people would say, oh, look at that, that's men or that's a woman. Oh, they are monsters. Oh, yeah. you know, it's not right. Or, uh, you know, don't walk in front of me or don't let me see you. I just feel really uncomfortable. Look at the mirror. I am so used to be abused, then I did not realize that it's bad and it's not right to do that to me. I come from Taiwan and uh, at the age uh, 20 and I decide to uh, leave my family because I cannot survive there. First of all, I never good enough for my family. Second of all, I never man enough. And then I think if I stay with my, my family, I'm going to kill myself. That's what I feel. So I have to go. I start transition uh, very late. I was gaming once. I find out myself that I am a woman. A lot of people tell me the same thing. They say it would be a lot of better in New York City, but I'm not really agree because hate crime and the discrimination, it happened everywhere. When I uh, go in the subway on 125th Street, when I sit down on the chair across to me, there's a woman talking about, I don't want this kind of person sitting in front of me. And then I heard that and I feel so bad but uh, I'm pretending uh, I'm reading because I have a lot of experience. Mostly they just say one, two times and they will stop. But in this case, it was crazy. Y'all sell y'all people, you garbage mother You a trans like videotaping me mother Suck my You ain't about You sitting over here recording me while you doing what? Sucking my Okay, bye. You ain't nobody. You a homo, gay mother women's products and, and whatnot. Like, what are you gonna do to survive in the long run? So after five minutes, I cannot stand it and I bring out my camera, uh, my, my iPhone. I mean, do you do this on the weekends or is this an everyday event for you? Like, you sit up and get on the train every day, like, what do people think about me one day? And then you cut all your shit off, put your extensions back in and go back to work. Like, who are you really under all that makeup? Where'd you come from? Are you the emperor of China? She keep going and keep going and keep going and then talk about how terrible I am and use a lot of sexual words, a lot of you know hate crime words. I talk about it's not right being transgender, it's not right being a queer or a gay, whatever. After minutes, I record it. Put the camera down, mother. Put the camera down, mother. Put the camera down, mother. I'm gonna knock that guy down. What? What? She is killing me. And then I was uh, moved backward. She keep attacking me and it described she needed a weapon to attack me. I don't know why that much hate in a person that tour to a transgender person or... Uh, I, I, I don't know, but it was so much to handle. There's a reason why I have a scooter on. It's because when I find out somebody not nice, I can just, you know, escape away. It's, as I can. We believe that our community should have access to core services in their neighborhoods. Currently, we're offering case management services. We're assisting individuals with health navigation. We have youth programming. We also have assistance to housing. We have assistance to immigration services. We're also um, assisting individuals with accessing um, education, employment, training. We're continuing to recruit the companies for the um, career fair in the fall. About how many companies do we have so far? We have 10 to 15 so far that they're on board. Oh, okay. So sounds great. They can have like different cover letters for different organizations depending on what positions they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be arranging for a training here at BTC so that we can get the local folks to access um, skills. First of all, now we got a place, LOPGD Center. <laughs> we face a lot of transphobia. 
from individuals who are, you know, who are dealing with uh, lack of education, who may be uh, ignorant, who have, uh, you know, preconceived notions of different populations. You would think New York is progressive and we're still dealing with these issues, right? So. I couldn't imagine living in middle America and being uh, identifying as trans and trying to navigate any kind of support. We have people who come in who just need to talk with somebody about it, who've actually been attacked or have been with someone who's attacked. It's a constant problem, unfortunately. It's, it's not being tackled expeditiously. So far this year, I believe it's been around 10 to 11 trans women of color who have been murdered. And we're just not even halfway through the year and we're seeing so much violence, you know? And uh, this, is, this is a crisis that we're going through wow. and having places such as this one allows for people to be educated, to be informed and to assure our community that we can do our best to stay safe. We really need a little center to help us because we have so much issues, so much problem. We need a place like this in every borough of New York City because we're everywhere. We live in Queens, we live in Brooklyn, we live in Staten Island. We don't just live in the Bronx or Manhattan. It's a start, but we have so much to do. How about people after 24? What are we going to do? I, I need to be around folks that understand who I am. I need a safe space. I need something to eat. I need help with housing. Um, yeah, we, support, we, we provide all of those things. I let the voice out, uh, change the community voice, and then out to let everybody know about it so it's good for our future. Hopefully we can you know have a much better life. In my case um, I know that there's always a risk um, you know living life authentically but it's a risk that I'm willing to take because I need to make the world a better place for my community.